Hey guys, Toy Insanity here, and today I'm taking a look at the Glimmies. The Glimmies are this fantastic new light up toy line. It magically lights up, air quotes, magically lights up with science. But the Glimmies are put out from Just Play Toys, which is the current license holder of Care Bears as well as the Mad Balls. And I think these are going to be fantastic. They're really cute. They're derivative of different animals. And this is the full set of 12 in the single packs. There's also some in packs that come with a little home. And then I think there's also a multi-pack. But we'll, uh, we'll get into these packs. And I see there's a checklist there. So we'll find out more details. Real quick, the card back. Turn on the light. Glimmy shine bright. I'm digging it. Oh, these are initially put out by Giochi Preziosi. Probably mispronounced it. But uh, they're an Italian toy company. They handle a lot of the same uh, moose toys and other... I mean, they've handled Playmates toys. They handle a lot of things for Europe. Oh, they did the uh, Monsuno that I was really into. But it also suggests that these originated in Japan. Uh, I don't know why I said Japan. These originated in Italy because of Giochi Preziosi. Preziosi. All right. First up, I just laid these out in the checklist order. The checklist from the card back. So first up is Bat-Linda. And I know I'm going to like this one. Bat-Linda. Is a sculpt derived from a bat. And it just simply goes off to on. What a beautiful and simple gimmick. I don't need things that talk, talk back, record my voice and then play it back. I don't need it to walk around. How about you just make something that's a cool sculpt, translucent plastic, maybe glow in the dark plastic, or maybe just a little light inside. I think I'm gonna leave these on as we unbox them. So there's our first one up, and that is Batlinda. Second one is this interesting character here. Layla. Kind of like Layla with an F on, on the beginning. Layla looks to be derived from a bird. And maybe she's a little bit older. She's got gray hair and glasses. I mean, uh, you don't have to be older to wear glasses, but usually when they're depicting a cartoonish looking granny, they throw some glasses on her. Macular degeneration, it's real. So she's got the clearest looking bulb, bird feathers, bird tail. I'm digging it, Flayla. Third one is Hazelin. She looks to me like she's derived from a lion. A male lion. Not that. So, look at this tail. Glitterly, glittery, semi translucent plastic. Definitely some kind of cat. Flayla. No, that was Flayla. This is a... Uh, Hazelin. Hazelin. Looks to be derived from a male lion. And let's check out the light. 
Let's see if it can magically light up. Magically lights up. With science. Okay, guys. This is Dotterella. And I bet she's going to be derived from a ladybug. I'll tell you what these are starting to remind me of. And it's not going to immediately make sense. But they kind of remind me of Battle Beasts. Now hear me out. So, there's a couple ways you could do a toy line. Let's just say a toy line derived from animals. You want to... What's the word? Personify, anthropomorphize animals. So... On one end, let's think about the toys that were made for Zootopia. They're all different sizes and scales, heights, masses. Of course, they're coming from, you know, property that already exists, which is the, the movie. But when you consider just the toys, right? So you have little tiny, the tiny rat guy, the bat guy, the, you know, the Godfather parody guy. What was he, a lemming? And then you had the taller figures, the elephant, and the I think there was a cheetah, a moose. And then the middle fig figures were like the heroes, the fox and the rabbit, whatever. But the scale was all over the place, right? And then on the other end, you've got what are called platform figures. And the best examples are like Domo, uh, Dunny, Labbits. Um, let's just think about Dunny, okay? It's a platform figure. You can paint that. You can uh, design imagery onto that figure to be any kind of animal. But the fit, but the shape, the mold is exactly the same. Now, what I'm talking about with these in relationship to a toy line like Battle Beast is they completely split the difference. The height, completely consistent. The basic width, completely consistent. The style in the eyes and the, and the coloration is consistent. But then what differs is the mold. Every one of these is a very unique mold. So this is Foxanne, derived from a fox. And then, of course, that's the main similarity, is that they're derived from animals. So these to me feel like a, you know, an obviously very girly version of the Battle Beast. They're like the, the Peace Beast. The Care Bears in the expanded universe, let's just say, when they have like the, I don't know, there's like the lions and the foxes and all that stuff. But they're the same size, the same style, the same scale. It's the same kind of idea. I don't know. If you could think of a better example, let me know. But this one is Lumix. She looks derived from probably either a moth. Well, I'm definitely going to say a moth. I was about to say maybe a moth or a lightning bug, but these are moth antennae and these are moth wings. And Lumix suggests, you know, she flies at night. Every one of these is a unique color so far. Let's take a quick break and look at this checklist. Collect all 23. What a weird number for a set. 23 does not display well. I don't know why they didn't just do 24. 24 displays amazingly. It's also very attainable. So I like that right away. So as far as size and scale, they're kind of similar to the Zelfs. I completely skipped the Zelfs because it was too many. It was too many. At this price point, they dropped like 100 figures. It was ridiculous. I would have collected Zelfs if it was a set of 24. But in this case, it's 23, which is weird. Because 24 is um, 8 rows of 3, 3 rows of 8, 6 rows of 4, 4 rows of 6, 2 rows of 12, 12 rows of 2. There's so many... Beautiful ways you can display 12. But they went with 23. There's the... Here's the ones we got. 
I'm glad they put their names on the checklist. They did not put their names on the card back. And then it says 11 exclusives. I'm guessing these four will come in a multi-pack. And then here are the play sets. Very simple play sets. Keep it simple. Where it's just a little... I'll call it a home, but it's really just more like a shelter, a little room. So you get one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, that way. But I think this one is expanded. So there's six in those. There's single figures with a single room home. And then this one looks expanded because you get this additional play thing. Turn out the light. Glimmy shine bright. Tagline that rhymes. That's good. I think the only other thing they could have had going for them, <laughs> and it's people probably think it's weird when I bring this up, but uh, if you start your toy line with one of these letters, M, T, W, or S, uh, because with social media, with YouTube in particular, you want your toy line to catch on, you want people to be excited about it, and sharing weekly information about it. They're unboxings, they're collecting goals, uh, they're expanding collection, you know, whatever. I'm sure if there's not already, there's gonna be an app associated with these. But anyway, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I left off Friday. M, T, W, F, and S. But I, but I like these glimmies, that was Cornelie, Cornelie, Cornelie. Now, she is derived from another male figure, or male animal, uh, like a deer. Now, I think deer in French or something kind of has this feel to it. Let me know in the comments below. What is, or maybe I'll even look it up. What is deer in French? What is deer in Spanish? What is deer in Italian? Next up, we have Nova, a green figure with an insect feel to her. This would be more of a lightning bug with the elytra, the beetle type covering and the very short antenna. Digging it. All unique colors so far. So we got a bat, a bird, a lion, uh, an insect, well, a ladybug. I, I kind of want to put the insect ones together. I'll do that at the end. An insect, a fox, an insect, a deer, another insect. And this is Raquela. She seems to be a cat, though not a lion. Probably more like, wait a sec, Raquela. Guys, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this might be a dog. A dog still? Oh, raccoon! Duh! Raquella. If it had been a C, I think I would have noticed it immediately, but Raquella. Oh, I just I just noticed this, guys. Badalina has this moon symbol down here. Flayla has just three diamonds. I'm not sure how that relates to birds, but this one I was calling a lion, Hayes, Hazelin, has an acorn. This is not a lion. This is a squirrel. I see it. I see it. I get it. I'm not being critical of the sculpt. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, embarrassed. I didn't notice it as a squirrel right away. Dotterella, ladybug. 
Fox in. I'm going to stick with Fox. Look at that tail. But I'm not sure how that symbol has to do with foxes. Lumix. I'm going to stick with Moth. Or Butterfly. I mean, they're not doing just nocturnal creatures. They are doing things derivative from diurnal animals. Corneli. Corneli. The deer. Nova. As a star. Look how her mouth's different. Is there going to be one derived from fish? Now that's going to be interesting. Fish or a crustacean? Raquel the raccoon. We're going to keep it going with Spinosita. What is that going to be? Dormelina. Dor I'm sorry. Dormelia, that's going to be a mouse. And Celeste. Celeste, why does that sound familiar? Spinosita. Guys, what are you thinking? They've done a turtle, but this doesn't make sense. Does that kind of have to do with a porcupine? Guys, let me know in the comments below. That's the first one that I don't really even have a decent guess for. And those colors are really similar. Hmm. Dormelia. Like a dormouse. I don't know. This one might have a dead battery. Yep, there it goes. And that one's color is really similar to this one. I guess we got a Double up colors somewhat. I hope there's some more greens in these. And then Celeste. Celeste is definitely another bird. And now Celeste is on with it. Very beautiful blue bird. I'm kind of wondering if some of these names are actually derived from genus or species names of the animals that they that their sculpts are derived from. I'm gonna look something up. Like, does like the one of the species of bluebirds in its genus or species name does it have Celeste? You know what I mean? Even a subspecies. Look at this checklist one more time. Just curious if how many more green and if there's anything that looks like a fish or a crustacean. They definitely don't mind doing invertebrates. Cerulea? Feels like another bat. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> this is even weirder that they did 23 instead of 24. Guys, consistency is a tool of the patriarchy. These 11 exclusive dolls are color variants. Cerulea is an orange version of Bat Batalinda. Lavunia is a blue version of Raquela. Pluma it's a blue version of Flayla. Rubina is a red version of Ah, Celeste. Let's see. Alia is a purple version of 
Lumix. Fernicia is the blue version of Spinosita. Oh, Alamindra is an orange version of Hazelin. Astrea is a yellow version of Nova. And that one's the mouse. That one is the her. Wait, that can't be right. No. No. Ah. Okay. Green version of the fox. That's the pink version of the mouse, which is yellow. And then this is a yellow version of the ladybug. So there is only one that didn't get duplicated in a color variant, and that's Cornelie. Very odd, very weird. <sighs> Maybe, I don't know. Guys, that's the most is the thing. I do like color variants, many collectors do. Uh, yeah, 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 it's a big part of the collect them all gimmick, but I got to be a little bit critical on you guys for not doing a variant of the 12th figure. Why in the world would you not do that? Why is this a set of 23 instead of 24? Why when you collect them all and I like them, so you're surely going to see me back with another video bringing the other pack types. So I'm going to have two of this, two of this, two of this, two of this, and only one of this. Oh, dear. Anyway, guys, I'm Toy Insanity. I collected, so you don't have to. Let me know what you think about the Glimmies. Are you collecting them? Do you like them? Do you agree with me on these ideas? Have, what do they remind you of? Uh, whichever one, I was unsure about the Oh, uh, yeah, Spinocita. What's up with that one? <laughs> do you have a favorite? Do you have a least favorite? Guys, what do you think? These are brand new in stores now. Check them out. I'm Toy Insanity, and I'll be back with some more of these. Well, pretty much as soon as I can. Check out my other videos. I've got one of the fastest growing toy channels on YouTube. I post videos daily of all kinds of unboxings and just sharing my toy collection. And go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out those playlists as well. Thank you very much. Have a great week and have a great weekend.